How am I really doing? What do you think? No, actually, what do you think? What are the others doing? What options do I have? Can you help? An analysis of your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats, known as a SWOT analysis. It's a great way to get that spot check on how things are going. Completing a SWOT analysis will help you get a focus on where you are, on what is holding you back and what's stopping you from moving forward. It's about the inner and the outer influences on you. And that's whether we're talking about you as a person, your team, your project or your business. A good SWOT analysis involves specifying your objective and then identifying the internal and external factors that will help or hinder you to achieve that objective. It's a good framework for reviewing current strategies and directions, or even to test out an idea when you're exploring potential solutions. But it's true to say a SWOT analysis is particularly helpful before the start of a project. In some ways, it's tremendously simple but you'll be surprised how rich the conversations are around the four perspectives that make up the SWOT. It's not always easy talking about your weaknesses as an operation and facing up to very real threats. But that's where you find half the value of the exercise. SWOT analysis leads to a richer understanding of what the project or organisation can offer, the opportunities it has to extend on that offer, the key weaknesses that must be worked on and actions you can take such as where to bring in external partners for assistance. It's an honest conversation inside your team on how to succeed, and it's invaluable. Hello, my name is Pramod Rakal from Open University of Nepal Initiative. My top tip for SWOT analysis is that after we go through hard work of finding SWOT elements, we ought to organize them in terms of priority and urgency so that we can better plan our actions.